Welcome to the Talking Beards Podcast. This is super special episode number 168. On this bonus episode that we recorded after the Beards for Maddie competition, Aaron decided that if we were to raise a specific amount of extra donations during the show, he would eat the most super hot, fiery chip ever in recorded history of man. And he did eat it, and we did reach that goal. It was pretty funny. So I thought we would release this as a bonus episode. Special thanks to Matt and Dwayne for uh, joining in. Uh, Check out Beard Laws and The Least We Could Do. Both are really great shows you can check out on Facebook. So without further ado, check out this bonus exciting episode of Talking Beards, the podcast, right? Meow. Welcome to the Talking Beards podcast, an entertainment news show all about the world of facial hair. You can catch the show live every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern by going to TalkingBeards.com. While you're at the website, you can check out all the other cool things that we do. We cover the latest news going on in the beard and mustache world from competitions, contests, fundraisers, and all the charity work. We also have special guests each week talking about what they're doing to make a difference in the facial hair world. We also do trivia each week with really great prizes, compliments of Honest Amish. So make sure you tune in every Tuesday night, 8 p.m. at TalkingBeards.com. Now let's get on with the show. Live yet? Not even we can. are. We're live. Yeah, I clicked it. Oh. Nobody's here. We'll just go ahead and cancel it. Nobody. No one even showed up. We're not even going to do it. Yeah, no one wants to watch. Scott, Aaron, Beard Laws, Talking Beards. Ooh, the Beard Caster. We're going to get lot, lots of viewers from over there. We always Shut do. up, dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's after 11, so I can be. You should have done the, the Beard Mob page. I wasn't thinking. I didn't want to put it on anyone's page that I didn't think would want to watch it. That's Nothing true. That happens after 11. Just yeah. don't give the grandma water. Definitely don't want to watch us. Oh my gosh. People are laughing. Shut up, Thad. I wrote down a name. Someone gave us a mad face during the comp. We're going to go hunt him down. Yep. Ooh, I'm in. I'll bring the baseball bat. Sweet. I'll bring Just in case pocket chip and rub their white part of their eyeball with a pocket chip. Oh, Scott Turner says, I'm here first, second, and third tonight. It was a good night. Why are so many people tuning in? Because they they want want to watch you eat the chip, dude. Uh, Whose idea was this? This was terrible. Let's go live. Do it. Go now. I'm I'm trying. Oh, Oh my gosh. Oh, hey. (laughs) did it. Rubbing my eyeball. (sighs) I want to do it now. Yeah, don't do it now. So, what's up, everybody in Facebook world at 11 o'clock at night? I'm glad you think this is going to be awesome. Let's find out. I am Aaron D. Johnston. We just did a Beards for Maddie online competition where we raised just shy of a million dollars. Um, we will get those final totals out. But, man, what a, what an event. 205 competitors, uh, people from all around the world watching live. We have four countries registered. I mean, we have people watching in Australia and England for sure, Canada, United States. I mean, (laughs) (sighs) shut up, Phil. Like, (laughs) come on, man. Like, uh, anyway, so, yeah, I uh, very (laughs) foolishly listened to my wife, and she said, if you raise $1,000 tonight, you should eat the chip. And I was like, no, she said, I dare you to eat the chip. And and we have been married for quite some time. And yeah, so I can't turn that down. You can't like dare me to do something. So here it is, boys and girls. 11 o'clock at night. Perfect time to uh, for a midnight snack of the, the world's hottest chip. Uh, anyway, so let's just get started. Uh, like I said, I'm Aaron D. Johnson. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, uh, TikTok. Uh, I think I retired again. I don't, I don't sure what happened there. but we got, some, we, have, we got some great ideas coming up. Natalie said I should TikTok this. Oh, you definitely should. 
I can. I don't I have would. a. I'm live. I'm live on there too. So I need a phone thing. What's a phone thing? Like a charger? Uh, like a, I hit a stand. My for that what that one I told you to get. I got it. I think I have the world's worst in your room stand. Uh, if you want it, I'll send it to you. I've I've got one. It's just not right here right now. You know what I mean? We're getting it. We're getting it. We're getting it. So I'll go. I'll go live on on TikTok. Might as well. Let's go. So while you're go. doing, so while yeah, you're ahead, doing that, uh, anyways, yeah, I'm Scott Sakura. Uh, you can find me on Facebook and Instagram. Um, Talkingbeards.com. Blah blah blah. You know the whole thing. This is not a normal show. So, uh, Justin Ray Dingleberries is here. Yep, I see it. Um, Look at that stash, though. Did you see that stash? I know. Great. It was nice. Great stash. It's true. Uh, who, are, who are you, bottom no, guy? Hold on. I'm not done. Oh, well, you were um and um and um and like no, you did all night. I knew so. he was still I knew he was still going. He knew I was. He, Matt, see, Matt knows way better than you. Who? Um, but Oh, John's here. John Oldfield. Look at him. Good. Good to see you, John. Um we are uh, still collecting for Maddie. So if you guys want to donate to the PayPal, um, after we just spent three, almost three and a half hours online uh, with the competition we just did, if by some chance someone strolls in here and they want to uh, still donate to uh, Maddie's comp, um, you can do it by going to paypal.me slash talking beards right there on the bottom. You can see that. And uh, Aaron made a silly, silly bet that said that that he, he would eat one of these uh, the pocky chips uh, live on air after the show. Um, if we raised a thousand dollars during the broadcast, well, we raised nineteen hundred dollars during the broadcast. So I guess he has to eat it. Good thing it wasn't two thousand, or he'd have to eat two. Well. If I'm got- glad that I did five thousand because freaking boneheads would have done it. Oh, uh, hey Aaron, what? what would this make you feel better if I had one of these? Why you ate your chip? Oh too? yeah, oh that's so hot. For me, it is real peppers with real heat. I mean, yeah, it is warm. Go ahead, Scott. You, I yeah, think- that'll make me feel great. This will, I, dude. This is gonna kick my ass. Um, would it make you feel better if I ate pretzels with peanut butter in it? Yes. Because that's I all I, I'll eat those instead. That's all I have in the studio. Oh. All right. I'm I'm ready to go live on TikTok. Look who's here. Look who that there we go. Oh hey, here. it's DG. Hey, are we gonna see you at the uh monsters ball? All right, I'm gonna mute. Oh, see, look what Ben says. Scott, he says, those are hot too. They are, I would imagine. I mean, it, it says real peppers and, and it has flames on it, so it can't be cold. Right? It looks like it's hot. It's almost burning my skin. Oof. Careful with the with the beard. You only have a half a beard now. If you do that and it burns it off, you'll have a quarter beard. It says warning, it's freaking hot. Freaking hot. Oh, it does. Hot. Mine's hotter. An insane amount of ghost pepper. That's what you're It's real. Saying. I'm live on TikTok. I'm yep. gonna probably make like 14 cents tonight. All right. Let's get we let's or Matt and go to Matt. Matt, tell us you. Oh, that's me. I'm Matt, uh Beard Laws. Yep. Obviously, uh I'm on Facebook. Instagram, TikTok. We're live on TikTok as well. He's live on TikTok. And uh, yeah, I'm going to watch him uh, hopefully not cry, but it's going to be really hot. And I feel bad for uh, his, 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 um, his, his, yeah, his poop tomorrow. Yep. It's going to be bad and hot. All right, Aaron, are you ready to do it? No, I think Natalie's cooking up something to make me have to eat two chips. Oh, I think that's so. A I said on the show that if we raised five thousand dollars in the PayPal, I would eat two chips. Uh, the total that we're at in PayPal is around twenty six hundred dollars. I don't know how long I'm going to extend this because Natalie's doing something. Uh oh. I don't want to eat two chips, but 
whatever. If we raise five thousand dollars for Maddie, I'm gonna eat two freaking chips. So, Oof. what the heck? What is up, Patrick Dawson? Patrick, what? Good wow. to see you, bud. Three it's funny how many people time. come out. How many people come out to watch you be in pain? Everybody. Why are you ashamed of me? What did I do, Fawn? So there's two people, three people watching me on TikTok. What's up, TikTok people? If you want to watch me on Facebook, talking beards on Facebook or YouTube, Matt, are you the one watching me on TikTok? No, I, I, I'm live <laughs> I'm as well. Got like two people, smat. So, so you got three other people. Like, yeah, I'm one of them is probably real. Super famous. All right, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Sam Smith. Eat the chip. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's just get this over with. So uh, Matt, Matt, do you have that uh that question thing? It's like, would you rather things? Do you have that readily available? Uh yeah. Those are fun. We might do that. I don't know what we're gonna talk about or do. So hopefully you and Scott have some sort of talking points. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be fun to watch you be in pain, but yes, uh these Sounds will good. be funny. Keep your mind off some things. So I'm I'm gonna pull a couple that uh so I can filter some. All right, so here we go. So this is the Pocky Chip one chip challenge. This is a uh, uh Carolina Reaper and something he it's the 2020 chip, it's the new one. I ate the uh 1.0 version, not too I don't know, probably been a couple years at this point, and it was freaking hot. This one is supposed to be hotter. Uh, what to expect? Round one, a spicy punch to the tongue. <laughs> Round two, <laughs> tongue puncher. A, a fiery jab to the face. Round three, impaired vision from tears. Round four, a low blow to the gut. Oof. Round five, KO. Um, yeah. That's, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So here we go. The Pocky one chip. Uh, give me one chip challenge. It's, like I said, last time I did this, there's like a, there's like a brochure and shit in here. It's called anyway, a brochure. 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 It's not a uh, Dorito or whatever. <laughs> oh, Lord. No, I don't have a glass of milk standing by. Not. God dang it. What happened? I didn't rip on the serrated edge. So there we go. Getting it out. So oh. it is a black. It's just one chip. I mean, how hot can one potato chip be? It's not right? even a potato. It's corn. You dummy. How hot can one corn chip be? It's a tortilla. Round <laughs> six. Hot poop. Oh. oh. Do I really have to eat it? Yeah. Okay, so it's 11, 11 at night. We have 53 watchers. Here we go. Dude, you just shoved that thing right in there. Oh, wow. Oh, my Lord. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my God. Making... <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's, he's sweating already. He's sweating already. I can see it on his head. I don't know. <laughs> oh, no. How long before the hiccups? <sighs> Scale from one to ten. What are you feeling? Hotness wise. <clears throat> Eight. Nine. Wow. Ten. It's a wow. <sighs> Natalie, make sure you get him some uh um like handy wipes or something so he can get the oils off his hand because <clears throat> he keeps touching his face and I'd hate for him to touch his it's these two fingers. All right. So, uh, oh, how wow. long am I supposed to go? Five minutes. Five? No, I'll do longer than that. That's stupid. Oh, five minutes. Uh. <laughs> Y'all got to do something. Dude, look at his forehead. I know. Dude, you have no idea. Hey, uh, so, so, Scott, you're going to eat some chips, right? To help to make them feel better? Oh, uh, all right. Yeah. I'll try. Uh. I do normally like pretty hot food. Uh, yeah, probably really, but, but this kind of hot is, is. This says they're really freaking hot. Uh, it does it. Look, uh, do they smell? They smell good. Oh, well, then they must not be too hot because generally. Any, oh. 
That's that's a good one, huh? Oh my god. What are we doing? <laughs> uh he's gonna he's gonna eat hot chips now. <laughs> oh yeah, that thing's gonna be so hot. You're not even gonna be able to say anything. Shut up. <sighs> <sighs> All right, so um <sighs> Would you, would you rather live in a world without headphones or a world without doors? Doors. No doors. Even the band? Uh, no, oh I'd rather have doors. They're really bad. Those chips don't taste good. Hmm. <coughs> so would you, would you rather wear high heels or a belly shirt? All the day? All the time? Um, or just yeah, I'm thinking so. All I day, mean, every like, day, like right now, just right now. Yeah, would you, yeah, would you like if you had to walk around and, and run to the bathroom right now because you really had like lava diarrhea and it had to come out? I don't want to run in high heels. No, you'd have great calves though if you did. That's true. I'm crying. Yeah, I see that. I'm there. I'm here for you. I tell you what, mine's really hot. I can handle it, but it's making my glasses wow. steam up. I was just gonna say his glasses look. Super <laughs> See, I'm like I already broke a sweat, but I'm. This was a terrible idea. <laughs> equivalent to how many chips that you would have to eat for his. <sighs> and I'm not saying I'm not saying that you need to do that. I was just curious of this. this <sighs> <laughs> What's Adam watching on? <laughs> hey, Adam. <laughs> Gabby says something. Do you, do you think you could throw a football farther than a 1940s Heisman uh, trophy winner? Oh, yeah, for sure. My eyes hurt. Ugh. So, Mark Jones says grab the poop knife. He's not going to need it. It's not, yeah. It's, poop I mean, knife dot com. I mean, originalpoopknife.com. It's a real thing. I pretend I have one find in a video. So they're asking, why am I eating this? So hockey chip, uh, the one chip challenge. We did a beard competition tonight. What the heck am I doing? I clicked something. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Nothing. Nothing. Oh my God. I messed the computer up. Anyway, um, what did we do? We did a beer competition tonight to raise money for a girl with non Hoskins lymphoma. And uh, I said that during the live event, if we raised an additional $1,000 on top of what we raised, I would eat the chip tonight live. We raised an additional $1,900. So, chip. That's why. Uh, if you, he said, go ahead. If we hit five thousand dollars, he would eat two. If we reach five thousand dollars, I will eat two chips. Yeah, <sighs> I don't do well with hot stuff, so that's why I will not do this. That's why just attempting to do this one here is already not agreeing with me very well. Yeah, screen's blurry. Wait, that wasn't even the right one. Congratulations, you made five minutes. <sighs> I did five minutes. Look at this. Tom Handers lives Maddie. We live Maddie. Uh, Oh, Oh, that was a bad idea. Wow. I I could see a little bit of smoke come out. Ow! Does it seem like it's getting better or worse? That made it worse by burping. I love how we're watching... Natalie and Andrew sitting on the couch across the way in our backstage area, and they're just laughing. They are. So would you accept a million dollars to be deported from the U.S.? You can never come back, but you get to take one person with you. Where am I going? Uh, just you're, you're getting deported. I don't we can't a million dollars and I get to go live in England with Natalie. One hundred percent. OK. <sighs> I'd probably take Natalie. Would you rather win a Little League World Series title or be a triple-A baseball player that knows you'll never get called up? A what or triple-A? Uh, you, you would win a Little League World Series title. A uh, triple-A. Hmm. You're never going to get called up? It's okay, though. you still make some money. No, you didn't. Did my... What? Hmm. 
No, you didn't. Oh well. Pardon me. Pardon me for your sake. Hope's not. It's <laughs> I don't see it. I don't see it. Ugh. Please don't. <laughs> I mean, do for Maddie, but please don't. So, if, uh, if you found uh, an adult video online of your buddy and his girlfriend, would you watch it? Yeah. And if yes, would you say anything to him? Yeah. I'd be like, that was that was a nice winner, Scott. <laughs> 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 oh man, no, you didn't. That was funny. That was Kate, good. It did not show up in our PayPal. Talking beards one at gmail.com or Great. paypal.me slash talking beards. I did cha ching. I don't see it, cha ching. He is. Yeah, you think? I I'm scared for him. Dude, there's no freaking way. I don't and, know if anyone anyone caught this, but I'm gonna show this. Uh, oh, why would you do that? I'm not meaning to. Ow! Oh. Oh. Up there. Look there. At, uh. <laughs> I don't think he could. I think if he did, he'd have to go to the hospital. Mm -mm. No. I'm a man. I got this. Wow. <sighs> sweet tea look at this oh hey sweet tea's here so many sweet tea that's her name so look oh. at her name you remember the wrestler booker t yes look at her last name booker t booker t booker t. t so it got changed to t and then it got changed to sweet tea where's the sweet come from because she's sweet oh Oh. You licked her? Huh? You licked her? Yeah, every night. <laughs> Whoa. Give me that arm. Yep. <laughs> huh. <clears throat> well, uh, would you rather live your life as is or be a billionaire, but you have to blow a dude every day? <laughs> Whoa. What? what was the first one? What as what? Would you rather live your life as is? Or be a billionaire, but you have to blow a dude every day. I'm a billionaire, son. I can <laughs> buy Listerine. <laughs> Are you he's sure like, he's not like just? Yeah, when he think twice about it. Yeah, yeah. That's like licking the arm. Yep. Do I get to pick the guy, or is it just some random dude, or is it the same guy every time? Uh, I don't know that. I mean, whatever. I mean, if you want a variety, you know what I mean? And have, you know. I don't want anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That, that would that would be bad. That'd be bad. Eddie says, my tummy hurts for you. Dude, my stomach does hurt pretty bad. Pretty bad. That escalated real quick. Yeah, it did, Reba. Uh, would you rather know the lyrics to every song ever or get $5,000? Know the lyrics, lyrics to every song ever. That'd be wild. You'd be like, <laughs> and then if you could sing, you'd be like a human karaoke machine without Absolutely. needing to read. You'd be rich. You'd be so famous on TikTok. Natalie knows the lyrics to every song ever, even if she has never even heard the song. Just like the... All I wanted was a Pepsi, just one Pepsi. That's her favorite, favorite song. song. <sighs> could you could you sing it for us? No. Oh, oh, that was worth a shot. Would you rather be the best looking dude in the world? I already am. Yeah. Or be able to read minds. Read minds. Yeah, he doesn't want to be me. I don't want to be Scott Sakura. That's not what he said the other show. <sighs> So it, the pain has gone from like my mouth to my stomach. Oh, that's not good. That's like my mouth still at. hurts, but it's not like unbearable like it was yep. a little bit, little bit ago. But now it's like uh, now my stomach super hurts. But anyway, go ahead. Um, I'm finding a whole bunch of non um, non appropriate, really dark ones. Gotcha. Um, What's up, TikTok people? They don't like it when you don't like interact with them. If you're just like watching another screen, they get mad. Jesus. Who's like, getting mad? Everybody's getting mad. How are you feeling? You're feeling all right over there? You're looking a little better. I'm great. 
My yeah. stomach hurts. Huh. Huh. Your, Aaron's tummy's not feeling so good. These it, are. It hurts. It hurts. It'll be all right, though. Hmm. Too bad we couldn't go over. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, let me check something real quick. Would you rather always have the hiccups or always have a headache? Hiccups. Yeah. <clears throat> what are these chips made of? So, where's the ingredients? I can't read it. My eyes are still too blurry to read. Blue corn, sunflower and or sunflower oil, oil, Carolina Reaper pepper, scorpion chili pepper, sea salt, activated charcoal powder, chipotle pepper powder, uh... Suchan pepper, Suchan pepper extract. Oh, like because the pepper wasn't enough. The pepper's not enough. Here's some extract. <sighs> oh. Hey, Reba, that look at this. Hold on. I was live hey. on her for you page, and Let's I came go. over here. Thank you, Reba. So yeah, yeah Reba came over from. Talking talking beards TikTok. There we go. That's the words I was looking for. She came over from TikTok. So thank That's you, cool. Reba. We are live on Talking Beards Facebook, YouTube, and the world famous Beard Laws himself is here. I'm here, guys. I'm here. here. We got we got ATI questions. Oh wow, these are really really dark. I don't I don't I don't know if I feel comfortable on your show saying this. <laughs> It seems like the initial um, Tyler Hill wants to know, is it worse than the first one? I feel like the initial spike was worse, but it seemed like it wore off quicker. Like it, I'm, I'm still not hundred percent obviously, but like the initial, like everything's like slowly going back to normal, but maybe it's cause I've, I've trained for this moment. I don't know. I've I've been eating ghost pepper sauce for a while and uh I ate that hot chocolate thing and stuff. So maybe I don't know, maybe my tolerance is higher a little bit. And uh and, and how you feeling over there, Scott? You had a uh, hot chip. Yeah, who how was that hot chip, Scott? I'm ready for another one. Me too. Oh, that's a big one. Twenty four hundred dollars and I'll eat another one. Would you really? Yes, one hundred percent. Yeah, here, half man, half half amazing. <laughs> He's yeah. Quite, yeah. My stomach. Would you rather wear winter clothes in the summer or summer clothes in the winter? Adam, Look at Amy. She's from TikTok. She's Amy, coming in. Amy, what's up, TikTok? She says to save your children and cancel Hollywood. I agree. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> and pizza. Yeah, who doesn't love pizza? Tom has the chip sitting in front of him. Oof! What? Uh, Tom said that he has the the chip sitting in front of him right now. This one? He said the chocolate burned like hell. CT's got some hot sauce that's hotter. The thing that ate the what's hotter? He said he's got CT has some hot sauce that's hotter than the chip. Really? That's what he said. CT will for <laughs> Do you get free stickers when you buy that? We have a super awesome guest right now. I wish we would have gotten. Oh, oh hey. Oh hey. What is going on? Hiya, boys. What is wow, you guys are on? still going, man. Fresh Ooh. off your show tonight. How's it yeah, going? We just closed out, man. How'd it How? go? I can't. Uh, it was great. We talked all about urine. It was amazing. Oh, you no, know it's better than talking about urine. Talking yeah. poop. Yeah, talking poop is way better than talking urine. Yeah, do you guys uh, have a urine knife? We had a guy on uh, tonight by the name of uh casey caban who is a uh, practitioner of urine therapy he drinks his own pee nice <laughs> did you yeah. drink the pee he, he 
dude, he, <laughs> he bathes in aged pee. Like he's got two year old pee stored up that what, he says is like gold. Doing that, so he has a bunch of two year olds pee into a thing, and he no two year old aged pee. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> um, why is there a market for that? Because I could pee. And Dude, I go. went on a deep dive today in about the urine therapy. In the urine? And yeah, in the urine therapy. And and there are a lot of people who practice. Uh, are you going to gonna be one of these people who start to practice? I'm, it? I'm, I'm seriously considering trying it. I have to go vegan for a little while because I think right. right now my pee will be a little bit too bitter. I mean, it's too much red meat. Like you've, already, you've already started it. There's pee in that cup, isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he drink his own pee already. It's it's iced down. It's cold. <laughs> yeah, I'd imagine it would be better colder. So what it is, is different, Reba, you are correct. What is, is the purpose of this uh, urine therapy? Did you it's learn health, health? man? Like uh this guy had uh a bunch of surgeries on his neck, had a lot of chronic pain, had a lot of issues, and uh did a little very very little research. <laughs> on uh, on whether or not drinking pee could help him, and and it did, it did, it it changed his life. Wow! So good. He's a he's an avid well, pee drinker. I'm glad it has changed his life, and he is better for it. Yeah. Um, how did the comp go? How the comp go? Well, how dude, it's for we, Maddie. So we did three and a half hours. We uh, did 205 competitors, and we do not have a final total yet. But yeah. if you tune in to Talking Beards at 8 o'clock Eastern on Tuesday, Tuesday. we will have a final tally. Um, we did, however, issue a challenge, and that's why we're here now. Oh, the, the chip, right? Chip. So I said yeah. at the beginning of the episode, if we raise an additional one thousand dollars during the competition, mm -hmm. I would eat the chip. And we raised an additional nineteen hundred dollars on top of what we already raised. So I'm eating the chip. Hey, great job, everybody! <laughs> Thanks. But if it got it. to five thousand by the end of this show, he's going to eat a second chip. <laughs> I'm like twenty three hundred dollars away from having to eat another chip. Okay. <laughs> Send in your donations now, folks. What's the uh, what's in. the PayPal? It's ready to buy the beer. There. There One. Right. Yeah. So if you go to right talk down there, over to you. me slash talking right beards, or you can go to talking beards one at gmail.com. Either way, right. the I money will over to you. Oh, somebody was drinking pee. Yeah. So uh oh. sweet tea's wife has to drink her pee. Oh my god. Once <laughs> Wants to drink her pee. Wants to drink her pee. Wants, okay. not. You should let her. Hmm. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> Come on, Tom. You can do it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna strongly <laughs> urge you not to drink your pee, Tom. I'm thinking. I'm thinking maybe I'll go vegan for a month and then maybe do pee drinking for like 90 days and see I how it goes. This. Keep a really good diary. And like yeah. a video log. And what then about, you turn into a documentary. Diarrhea? Do you want me to do you want me to keep a video log of capturing the voids? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. It's gonna be a whole documentary. Instead okay. of a V uh, a V log, it should be a P log though. It, it a kind of make log. A plug. So like you said earlier, yeah. did your guy have a P knife? That's a poop knife. I know. We have You're, a poop I knife. I don't feel like you have would a, need a knife to cut pee. Frozen wow. pee. Frozen pee. Frozen pee um, yeah. yeah, could you do a pea slushy? Oh yeah, with the blender. Should have asked him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you he mix could. like like make smoothies with it and like add vegetables and stuff? You or probably that, could. You probably You're still going to get all the nutrients from the pea. It's just going to smell and taste. Really, I did. Are there nutrients in the pea? There do are. I, there the are expert. some nutrients in the pea. It is um, ninety-five percent water. A uh, little uric acid, uh, but there are some water soluble vitamins in the bottom end of the pea, pe pea spectrum. Yeah. Huh. Hmm. So why can't you just extract those vitamins out of it? Like, can you just like lay it out in the sun and let it evaporate so the vitamins are just left at the bottom? And well, I feel like I'd, I'd want the five percent in a glass of water. Yeah. Dude, my stomach is hurting. Drink some. From what? Drink some Did urine. You eat the chip already? Yeah, I already ate it. 
Oh, you yeah. missed wow. it. That was, that was that was like thirty minutes ago, Dwayne. You're late. Oh, you already you ate the show. show. Yeah, I already ate it, and I was like pouring sweat, and I couldn't talk, and now it's like my mouth doesn't hurt, but do my stomach gets cramping. You've eaten this chip before, though. I have, but this is the 2.0. It's supposed to be a little bit hotter. Uh, does it have like a Scoville measurement on the packaging? Uh, no, on the, I can look. It's supposed to. It should. Was the 2.0 hotter? Yeah. I, like I said, I feel like it was a. Oh, look is at there it. a 3.0? Do you have to put oh, that on the wall? You gotta put car. that on the wall, man. Oh you know, look, I have to... a coupon for your little girl chip you ate, Scott. Ah. Like <laughs> oh. So uh featherweight. So how long can you last before throwing in the towel? Eating or drinking anything. Featherweight's five minutes, lightweight is ten minutes, middleweight is thirty minutes, and one hour plus is a heavyweight. So how how long did you go before relief? What are you talking about? Like, have you drunk anything? Have you? No, I have not. Okay. How long has it been? When well, did you? It says I have to go an hour to be a heavyweight. So how long has it been? Like thirty minutes. Oh, uh-huh. you're what a middleweight, welterweight right now? Middle. Wow. There you go. I'll be all right. I'll wait thirty minutes and then. Now, if you go the hour, you get all the way to heavyweight. Can you consider yourself a multi weight class champion? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think so I feel yeah. like. Oh, there's rules in here. Eat the entire <laughs> chip. Wait as long as possible before eating or drinking anything. Number three, post your reaction on social media with one chip challenge or hashtag one chip challenge and mention at Pocky Chips. There now, you go. We're doing that right now. Right. I was you say, should just post a link to the show. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I'm going to send this email this link to their show. Yeah. And at Pocky Chip. You guys were talking about hypothetical blowjobs earlier? Yeah. 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 Uh, we, uh, so I, have, I have answers the internet. And um, so it's just random questions. Uh, like uh, Our show is kind of turning into like your show, like a smorgasbord of all different topics. Yeah. yeah. That's what tonight is. That's well, good. This it's fun. really a show. We just did this thing. Eating yeah. hot chips. Eating hot chips. I don't have any hot chips. I don't, uh, I don't have anything to eat. I have some weed oil. That'll work. So wow, Natalie one, now has a pretty. cup of yellow liquid that she just brought into the room, and she's going to drink. Uh, is she drinking her pee? It's I think pee. so. <laughs> Natalie at TinkleDrinker.com. Dude, that's a lot. You <laughs> that's can subscribe get to her OnlyFans. It'll work. It'll be great. Would you rather eat all of your food through a straw or have it all of your food tossed into your mouth? Tossed into my mouth. Straw. I think I go straw. That'd make a mess if everything had to be tossed in your mouth. Yeah, especially with our mustaches and beards, right? Speaking of which, that uh, those videos you guys were showing last week on your show, uh, where you guys were eating all those different things. Oh, uh, the messy eating videos. Yeah, yes, those are great. Yeah, those were fun to do, man. Like I didn't get to be a part of the first iteration of it, which is I'm thankful for because it took Jimmy like two years to edit it. But the second version, slow. yeah, he's What's super slow. Problem? Where is Jimmy? I sent a link to him too. Why isn't he? I don't here? know. Let me text him. Uh, I think he um, he said something about not liking you, Scott. No, you know, I don't think that's true you. at all. I saw it on Twitter. That's what he yeah. said. Yep. Yeah, was there. Uh, so, uh, so you're gonna you have to marry one, fuck one, and Jimmy. Kill one. Jimmy is out and about. He says sorry. Oh, yeah, he just actually he just did message me that too. Yeah. <laughs> Change it to bang. You're just you're in the loops. Marry, Damn. bang, or kill. One of the Ooh. follow. All right. Okay. No, th- this is this is the next question. Marry, bang, or kill. Italian okay. food, Mexican food, or Chinese food. Hmm. Well, marry Mexican food. Yeah. Uh, bang Italian food. Oh, wow, dang, that's tough. I don't know. Chinese I'm gonna go. I'm bang. gonna go marry Italian food. Bang Mexican food and kill Chinese food. But it's Chinese food. Mexican food uh, might be spicy. It might hurt to to hook up with Mexican food. Yeah. Just, that would be some spicy pee. I think I would. 
That would. Get rid of the Italian food one. So I'd kill it. <laughs> kill the Italian food? Yeah. Your pasta is so not good for you. But it's so good. It's delicious. This is true. Mm-hmm. I like Chinese is food. Is pasta good? Is pasta delicious or is it what you put on the pasta that makes it delicious? Again, valid point. I've ate a lot of just plain pasta when I had no money and it was pretty decent. I really? have been known. Yeah. I mean, it's better than nothing when you're really hungry. Yeah, well, I mean, if you're starving, anything's probably going to taste good. I don't know about me. Yeah, probably pee. <clears throat> probably pee. Would you? Oh, well, let me pre-read this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, it's not it's not like gray, but it's not terrible. Would you bite a live gerbil's head off for $5,000? Would you take care of it, feed it, and have it as your pet, and then bite its head off for $10,000? I would just straight bite its head off for five grand. Oh, I would totally take care of it and feed it and bite its head off for ten. No, that extra five grand, absolutely not worth it. What if it. you? What if it was? It cost you five thousand in, in food and to buy it. I don't. I, I don't really see that a, a, a hamster. You said right? Gerbil. Yeah, pretty gerbil. Much. Gerbil. It have to be a pretty big gerbil for that kind of. And hopefully, capital. it's not because that'd be tough to bite the head off a really big one. It would. Oh, Tyler brings up a good point from earlier. If you stop eating Italian, does that include pizza? Is pizza really Italian, though? Is it more American? Perfect. Then still kill an Italian. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Not change my answer. There you go. Oh. Would you rather never be able to get off again or have the feeling you have to poop for the rest of your life? Poop. Hmm. At my age, <laughs> I don't know, man. That's a tough one. Are you more I, elderly than me? How probably. old are you, Dwayne? Uh, 47. You're not the oldest one in the room anymore, Scott. I know. How old are you, Scott? I'm going to be 46 in a few weeks. Oh, there you go. I'll be, old balls. I'll be 48 so old. in March. I'll, I'll, I'll almost spend an entire year in quarantine. That's crazy. That's wild. I did not. <laughs> I mean, yeah, uh, the, the guest on our show last week. Um, the, yeah, the, the guest on our show. He was a leap year baby, so he's only seven. Wow. Wow. That would be strange. What so he's that? what February twenty ninth. Yep. yep. That's crazy. Yeah, he said seven birthdays. Now, what do they do? They like just celebrate a birthday every year on the twenty eighth, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah they do it around then or the first. I don't. I, I didn't yeah. ask. I just. I had never known a, a person that had a leap year. I mean, either way, is Pisces, update. right? Burps are still hot. Yeah, you got to be careful with those. In a couple hours, the 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 farts are going to be hot. <sighs> I can't wait. That's my favorite part. The burning oh. anus feeling. Oh, the, the burning anus feel, uh, smell. It's Angus. Angus. Yeah. How does it affect the uh, smell of the flatus? Uh, makes it spicy. Hmm. Why don't you ask Natalie? Natalie, y'all. She said about what? About how, do, smell how do the farts fart smell Did after? Make it spicy or no? She said, I don't know. I don't know. That sounds like I don't, really. know. I don't know. Would you I rather get videotaped every night you go out and have to watch it with your significant other's mom or have their mom get a copy of every text that you send? Huh. What? Kind of video video tape. Tape. Would you First rather one. get videotaped every night you go out and have to watch it with your significant other's mom or have their mom get a copy of every text that you send? Definitely videotape. Video, I guess, yeah. Yeah, I go out like once no, guess, every six I was going to say, not only that, and I guess it's COVID, so there's <laughs> no going out, really. Hmm, that's weird. So Austin's still just completely just shut down. I mean, not. I mean, Jimmy's out at the bar. Yeah, play, some places are open, like bars that sell food are open, but, I mean, they're supposed Austin to be. The, the, the California of Texas, so. Yeah. Yeah, we certainly are. Like the rest of Texas is wide open. Everybody's mm-hmm. going, doing whatever. And Austin's like, nope, we do what LA does. We it's are mostly, shut down. 
It's mostly the big cities like Houston, Dallas, Austin. Houston, not so bad. Dallas, not as bad as Austin, but yeah. So Austin is bad. Yeah. So that's yeah. back to, yeah. But there's still like restaurants are open at 25% and uh, bars that serve food can open at 25%. What bars and restaurants that are still there, right? Uh, like, yeah. Like yeah, a lot. There's of- a lot of places that have down. shut down. That sucks. Yeah. I saw the Grackle open back up, I think, today. Good. So that was exciting. That was always a fun spot. What but about come and take it live? I don't know, man. I haven't heard anything. Up. I hope so. I mean, that's that's our venue, you All know? Right. Is there um, any, do you guys have any news about your competition in February at all? Not happening. I'm sure it's going to be online. Yeah, it's not happening in February. Yeah. God, I'm why sure are you guys such online. downers right now? I know. What? Marry, bang, or kill? Gusher, okay. Fruit by the foot or I shark bites? I don't even like Usher. Uh, no, definitely well, then kill we Usher. He's a part owner of the Cavs. No, really? Gushers. Yeah. The snack. Gushers. Oh, gushers. I've not never even had usher. shark bites. Gushers, fruit oh, by man. the foot, or shark bites? Um, I'm eating. Wait. Marion, fruit by the foot. I'm banging mm-hmm. gushers and I'm killing shark bites. Banging gushers for sure. I mean, that's <laughs> just oh. I mean, that's the that creepy right center. Right? How can you not? <laughs> right? Yeah, that's, that's I don't even idea. know what shark bites are. So me neither. That's why I killed it. All right, killed same it. question. Okay. Legends of the Hidden Temple, guts um, or double dare? Shark bites. <laughs> I'm killing Legends of the Hidden Temple because, like, it really wasn't that good. What? Uh, Shut up, Natalie. Are we talking the series or the movie? So, Double Dare, I'm I'm gonna marry it. I'm banging guts. Yeah. Yeah. And then, (laughs) yeah, (laughs) he said that with such a smile too. Like, yeah, (laughs) definitely banging Legends of the Hidden Temple. Yeah, Legends of the Hidden Temple is awesome. Yeah. Was it though? Whoa, whoa, whoa. check this out. <sighs> Daniel Howerlin said Scott Usher. Scott was that his like full Scott name? Scott Usher. Usher. Oh, like I didn't know it was Usher's Scott. first name is Scott. Yeah, apparently. Yeah, apparently. Scott Scott is he saying to you, you yes, Scott? You mean, be careful, messed up half beard. Punctuation he's calling you half beard. Yes. So he's saying I, Scott. He should have put a comma there, really. Yeah. It's all one. Scott what, Usher what's is familiar. Did he yeah, mean familiar or yeah, it's family? Familiar. Yeah, I think he's like, I know who he is, so be careful. Scott yeah. Usher is familiar to me. Gotcha. Be careful. Just, so I'm getting email alerts that I'm getting uh, PayPal's, and Ooh, they're making yes. me extremely nervous. Yeah, <laughs> how how are we? How are you doing? What what are you up to? Money wise, nowhere near the twenty four hundred additional wow. dollars. But I'm just like twenty five, ten, ten. You know, so you guys just stay on air for like six more hours. You should be fine. Well, should be fine. It should be a twenty four hour stream. That's you right there. I was gonna just make that point that at some point we will do a twenty four hour telethon, just like Jerry Lewis. And we we'll bring in people. It. What about Huey cool. Lewis? And the news? What about the news? I don't know. Why would you Huey bring Lewis in here? Is there news? Do we Dude, my news? stomach is rocking right You're now. You're talking mm-hmm. about the moose? I don't know. Like Bullwinkle? Yeah, Rocky, too. Don't forget about him. Yeah. Rocky, Rocky too, Bullwinkle. was... Eh. Rocky so Ford, you tell us, tell okay. So we we have a bunch of people watching the show right now. Okay, pimp your show. Tell everyone what it's about. Tell us, you know, tell everyone about just the tip. Yeah, we have twenty one thousand people watching. I mean, <laughs> the least ever. Had the least we could do. Is the least we could do tip. is just the tip. Just yeah. the tip. <laughs> um, it's it's just me and my buddy Jimmy, who you guys know, and a lot of you folks watching may know. Uh, Jimmy Preston, 
and our buddy Kyle Bauer, who is our producer. And we get together on Saturday evenings and we talk shit and we talk to cool people and we have uh, musical guests and we play funny videos that Jimmy stars in most of the time. And, uh, and yeah, that's it. Just something to do on a Saturday night when there's nothing to do. If you've had musical guests, why have you never had Scott Sakura on the show? Because he's a world famous drummer. No, but drums just don't play really well on the internet. Wow, we've had, we've had problems said, with uh, prove them wrong, Scott. We've had problems with Facebook um, also taking down live performances. I think. Yeah, they don't. I don't like know this that. for a fact, but Jimmy told me that. <laughs> Jimmy's a liar. I know yeah, Jimmy. He, is a liar. he really is. Maybe because Jimmy wasn't in that music video, and he was like, nah. "Yep." He was like, yeah, "Take this probably. video down. I'm not even in it. I'm not in it." He was really probably mad tonight. Are right now. He was really upset with me tonight because I did research for the show and and had stuff to say, and he didn't he get was- to talk much. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, you know. I will tell you though. I do. I honestly, honest to God, like I love your guys' show. I love watching it. Thanks, man. I love like all the different guests you have on and like it it definitely like, you know, because we're not allowed to be, you know, going out and doing a lot of stuff right now. Yeah. You know, it's a Saturday night. What are you going to do? And I, it just always, you guys pop up and like, I get sucked in. I get sucked <laughs> in every week. I, I, that's what she said. <laughs> yeah. We, we see Did Scott really in the comments. Her? All the time, every Saturday, except for tonight. I f- I knew we weren't going to see it tonight. You know, I've tuned in before. Things. You don't comment though. I uh, know. I mean, the the one time or two times I watched, I commented. Yeah, at least you could have done. Aaron was made a comment. Yeah, at it's least I could do is comment. Mm-hmm. Well, I ter- just well, so you know, know. Uh, I I got called out. What last Sunday on the Austin Facial Hair Club meeting for not watching your show, and Scott always <laughs> watches the show. Yeah, so uh-huh. right after the meeting, I turned on notifications for your show on Facebook. Thank you. So Thank you. And I'm not but, even allowed to be a member of the Austin Facial Hair Club. That's smash. even the worst. I can do whatever I want. Shut up, Scott. All you gotta do is come to some meetings, Scott. And they're I, easy, I, to, like, easy to make nowadays. No one sends me any links to meetings. I'll come to. I will meetings. send you. Long. I'll send you links. I'm, from, a, I'm a member now. Meetings. That, I go to meetings to get away from Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Natalie. <laughs> there's, that was a good one. There's so much goatee competition in the Austin Facial Hair Club now that I don't know that you guys want to jump in there right away. It's not, it's not about a competition. You know, I know how you are, Scott. Who owns a goatee in there? Uh, Clink, Jeff oh, Ray, oh, Chicken Bread. Um, Oh shit! That's it. I'm, I guess. I'm, just, I'm still waiting for the <laughs> Tony competition too, Tony, thing. Tony's the goatee guy. Oh yeah, Tony's a goatee guy. I don't see Tony much anymore. I don't. I thought you said doing, it was competition, Dwayne. Tony's always doing yoga. I don't know, man. Clink's Clink's got a pretty strong uh, goatee. Ah, chicken bread. Nah, he's stupid. He's dumb. the only thing you guys beat him on is the mustache, obviously. <laughs> and obviously. The looks. Wow. Yeah. He couldn't even beat Scott in the Talking Beards competition tonight. Just he lost. Be glad Scott that I cut mine off. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah then y'all can make out again. <laughs> Couldn't really make out. You I don't did. think they were that really tongue and These two jokers made out on stage in Chicago, and that's not a joke. <laughs> Shut up, Natalie. Is there tongue? Yeah, I don't remember. There was wrong. not. Look at I that. I think I've only ever tongue with Paul Hendricks. Look at that back there. That red ribbon. Oh yeah, right there. You're you're still welcome, Scott, for that. Why? Uh, Why? Well, my my mind's back there, up there. It's yeah. see, it's already turned itself in shame on you. Yeah. So it's like, oh, I feel bad. See, it's up there. So keep- what would have happened if uh, Dwayne didn't enter that category, Scott? I don't. They would have m- m- uh, put me in with uh, you. Yeah, and I still would have beat you. You would have bah! lost <laughs> horribly. You wouldn't even have placed. Nope. Ah, no. I, who says who? Me. Yeah, you totally wouldn't have placed. No, there's no way you'd have placed. No. You're mean. 
You shut defend up, you. Natalie. <laughs> shut up, Natalie. She was defending you. Oh, she was. I didn't. Sorry, I just Andrew heard her yelling. I think Scott would have placed. That was Andrew. Shut up, Andrew. But instead, man, you're a national champion. You are. I'm not. I lost. Me and Dwayne are losers. Oh, I'm pretty good at losing. Yeah. I'm great at losing. Yeah, we're losers. Good job. Actually, Scott. I was a winner. A winner. I was a winner because my best place before that was third. Yeah, but you got second, so you still lost. Yeah, but in my eyes, I was a winner. And what wow. you think you get doesn't your eyes matter. Checked. Second <laughs> place is most definitely the first loser. Still better than third. But it's not first. Still better than third. So it's last. If you ain't first, you're last. You guys, you guys take this stuff all so seriously, and I'm just not competitive enough to care. <laughs> uh, well, Actually, we don't care, but it makes for good, uh, <laughs> good stories and stuff. Like that's true. It is good ammo. Yeah, it's absolutely good ammo. Yeah. Because right. we're always teasing Scott each other, thinks he can beat me, and it's fine. I would have beat you over in over at the British Nationals, like hands down. They would have loved me over there. They would have been like, "Yeah, Aaron, your, your color would have went over well there." Yeah. Yeah. Aaron's Don't like, you know "Who I am?" Would have been like, "Oh, like blown in the wind." You know who I am? Yeah. <laughs> well, like, we're going back there soon, aren't we? Uh yeah, me and Matt are going to the British Nationals uh coming up pretty soon. We'll, oh, online and Natalie, Nationals. We'll be over there in online yeah. form. Yeah. In spirit. We'll, we'll all be over there together in next August. I'm going to make top 20 this time. I have faith in you. I got top Ooh. 10 tonight. You got 4th. Really? Matt, did you sign up for Nationals? Yeah. Nice. Yep. Sweet. Scott did you uh, sign up? Yes, I did. Aaron? I did. Good job, guys. Wayne? No. Why not? Why? Come on. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse to. I refused as well. Uh, yeah, I also refused until uh, Honest Amish got involved, and then I felt obligated. I made a uh, I made a vow at the beginning of this whole thing that I wasn't going to do any online competitions. Why Why was that? I don't you know. Drink your own urine? Because I'm bitter. Because I'm a bitter like, old man. Urine is bitter. Yeah, mm-hmm. urine is bitter. Urine my is my urine is bitter. Prove it. <laughs> I don't know how well it would be. a bottle of piss. If I, up at your door. I could get if I got some dry ice, I could maybe ship you a quart or a pint. Well, maybe a pint would be I'll better. Drink it. Would you <laughs> on air? <laughs> yeah, Varen gets if we get. A do you have color, do you have a diet request like a flavor profile that you'd like? Oh, lots of asparagus. Asparagus. Yes. Yep. So much. <laughs> You're a man of my own heart. <laughs> we have really lost viewers. All of a sudden, for some reason. I, don't, I don't know why. We were Dude, pretty ridiculous. Around thirty, then twenty, then it hit nine. Yeah, it's now all the P talk. I'm sorry, yeah, folks. So. We're back up to twelve. <laughs> Not that's the folks that like to drink think about pee anyway. and a lot of sad fa- oh sean glander gave us a sad face on this whoa whoa so we have one viewer over on twitch i think it uh might be adam d hart hey i've got a whole bunch of people in tiktok just saying are you gonna shave your beard why won't you shave your beard shave your beard shave your beard Tell them to shut up that's just what they do. I don't know. I don't. Shave your beard. Oh, we're on TikTok. We're, we're on yeah. TikTok. Yeah. Because they do all the time. They do. How about that? Grow a beard. You'd be like, I own, I own a company called Beard Laws. I can't shave my beard. What am I? Then I'd have to pay for all the just fees laws. and the copyright stuff to be beardless laws. <laughs> beardless laws. So, dot com. They yeah. think you're selfish because you won't shave your beard. Uh, yeah, I don't get it. I mean, who, who's this last one? This last one, um, Will Smith. Oh, it's Will Smith. That makes sense. Will Smith. Oh, you better yeah. listen. But he's got he Will say. Smith. No, nah, I'm not going to listen. Sorry, Will Smith. I think he's got some other things at home he needs to worry about and quit worrying about your beard. Yeah, yeah Will Smith. You need to Donald figure out your own life. No one's, like, raising, no one's raising money for charity by not growing a beard. Right? Because what did Talking Beards do tonight? Just all 1900 just on the show tonight. Yep. 
Just shy of a million dollars tonight. And I are you guys. Yeah, it's awesome. You guys <laughs> killed it today. You guys did a really good job too. And I'm not just saying it because we're live. I'm I'm super looking forward to just adding all the totals up and and putting that out there to the world. I I I have, no, I have no idea what we raised. He dug his abacus out of the garage. He's like, are you guys excited for like live comps to come back and to be able to host your first live comp together? Absolutely, one hundred percent. It was technically gonna. Well, I mean, I don't know if it was, but I mean, we. I was gonna be going down to. South Carolina in for Aaron's comp and I was going to help him out, but. And then yeah. you were going to have yours in August and you were going to MC and I was probably going to judge. And then there was that other one, the beards in the barnyard. We were both going to be a part of. And yeah, there, there, I mean, we there's a lot of tag in the works this year and it just all. Yeah. Puts. Put. I mean, if we did our own competition, I wouldn't even know where we would even throw it. Yeah, uh, I know. I was gonna go to the zoo for a beard competition this year. So we got uh, Matt. Are you gonna go to? How close are you to Sharon, PA? Uh, how how close is it to like Pittsburgh or Philly? Uh, it's a uh, less than an hour from Pittsburgh. Because I'm about seven or to eight from Pittsburgh, about six from Philly. It's yes. north. It's northeast of Pittsburgh, so it's closer to me. So probably, okay. probably guess about six hours, seven hours. We'll be there in two weeks. Two weeks. Okay, remind me. Two weeks. Yep. I'd. Uh, what, what is it? A competition? Yeah, yep. the, mon- the uh, Monster Mad Viking Ball. Monster Ball. Ooh. Maybe I'll try to go. Two weeks. Oh yeah. Well, they're, mean, yeah. They're doing some pretty cool interactive stuff with that comp too. Right? Yeah, Seventeenth, you're saying? Yeah, and also there's a costume contest on that Friday. So. So maybe, Matt, I'll, maybe I'll decorate my beard up in something. Well, no, Matt, if you want to come up on Friday for the contest, for the costume contest, we have a theme going on, and you are more than welcome to stay at my house because I live less than an hour away from there. Nice. And then okay. the next night we can go back. Awesome. We'll we'll tell you the top secret theme while people are not watching. Shark Week. Oh, I wasn't supposed to say anything about that. I'm sorry. Shh. We did an hour. We did. We, did. we want to keep going or what? Yeah, why not? I mean, we're going. I don't know. Okay. I was and just now you're you're a he- you're almost a heavyweight. You got like yeah. two minutes. We so might as well finish it out, right? Yeah, I think I I ate the chip at three forty. So took three minutes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so three minutes. And and if anyone uh, is still watching and they want to, well, of the few people that are now watching because uh, you're in talk. Yeah, um, Wayne. <laughs> Sorry guys. Well, on, on my on my show, my buddy Logan, he had a segment or has a segment called "You're in My Thoughts." So uh-huh. he he would say his thoughts that he was thinking while he was peeing. Huh. All right. Here's a quick question for everyone. What's Four. true? Each, shut up. Each person's worst experience at a urinal, like in a public restroom. Have you had like a bad experience where someone's come in and like? Well, what? <laughs> Coming? No, I've no, not it. Oh. No, I've never seen that. God, you know, I just uh, well, especially like around here. Like I always have, like I'll be going in, sitting at the urinal, peeing, and then some jackass will always come in you and like you sit, sit at the, the urinal? urinal to pee. <laughs> yes. <laughs> don't you remember? <laughs> well, things are weird. I don't know if I'm gonna come up there now or down there now. <laughs> <laughs> I've had two People from Ohio. Recent. I've had two recent, like within the last. Two years urinal experiences that were a little bit traumatic. Oh, uh, both of them at Home Depot. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Um, I had a guy standing behind, I was at the urinal, a guy was standing behind me and he had his phone out like he was trying to take a picture of me. <laughs> and I turned around, and peed, I turned around and peed on him, <laughs> and he just walked out. And then no way. I went in to pee. There was a guy in there in a stall taking a dump and he was on the phone and it, it sounded like a business call. So I finished up, washed my hands and there was no towels. So I used the blower and the guy goes, Hey, I'm on the fucking phone. 
And I said, sorry, man, I didn't know you. This was your office. And- <laughs> <laughs> well, he was clearly in there. They're doing some paperwork. Yeah. Like who has business conversations in a public restroom while they're taking a dump? Yeah. Right. That guy, mm-hmm. obviously. Uh, that dude. I mean, only in a home depot, right? you sit at the urinal. Contractors. Contractors will talk. Anywhere, and that's how Anywhere. Jimmy and Dwayne became best friends. <laughs> <laughs> it actually was in a urinal, but a little bit different situation. I, I walked into a bathroom one time, and one of the there was two urinals. One of the urinals was out of order, and I walked up, and there was a dump in the urinal. Ooh, sorry yeah. about that. So I was like, "All right, I'm not going to use that." So I went. There was one stall in there. Somebody was in there, and I had to go. So I used the sink. Hmm. And, but I, had, I turned the water on. You know what I mean. It's, I went concert rules. Yeah. It's all the same I mean, thing. Yeah. So, but did yeah. You ever, was... Did you guys ever? Are are you old enough to remember been in shitty enough bars to have the long trough full of ice? Oh yeah, yeah for sure. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. So I Syracuse, those. the dome, Syracuse dome, the the football basketball team, the college, right. Syracuse University. Oh, their geez. bathrooms, their all their bathrooms are the are the troughs. Nice. But there's no ice. No ice. No ice. Just troughs. Ice, a little salt. And every so they're redoing the like stadium and everybody room. everybody was getting mad because they were they were like, oh, they're gonna take them out. And they decided to leave them. What Good the ice? No, the I trough. mean, why not? Yeah. I mean, everybody's going with these robotic self flushing waterless. Yeah. I hate- toilets that flush themselves they piss me off because i like looking at my poop if you're like if you're a self-flushing urinal and you're standing in front of it you're in middle stream and it flushes do you feel like you're being ignored i'm well, sorry i wasn't listening to you oh, fuck. <laughs> this is like being on my fucking show what is going on if, or, or how about this one? Have you ever noticed the guy that comes into the bathroom? He's peeing and he has to like flush it halfway through, like it's gonna overflow. Yeah, oh, yeah what's I up do with that, that at home? That's odd. I I have this weird thing where when I start getting towards the end, I'll flush the toilet and then race it to see if I can finish before it yeah, finishes I'll do that. flushing. Yeah, that's, oh, a well, that's not that's weird at all. That's a- yeah, that's yeah. a game. But there's always oh, that dude okay. that's at the bar. He's like he yelled at in the him. bathroom. He's like peeing, yep. hand on the wall. Yeah, yeah. And then he's got to flush it halfway through, like a rough balance. It's gonna overflow all over him. Yeah, Maybe he's right. playing the same game. You know it's Maybe bad when he's well. got his head against the wall. Oh, I do that. And he's like holding on with two hands so he doesn't like get it all up. You know. I don't want to get too graphic. Sick. He said, you need to see the poop and see what color it is. Absolutely. It's true, Jim. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but you definitely need a poop knife to cut it in half to see all the colors on the inside, right? Well, sometimes you get those really nice logs that just won't go down, and you got to you gotta help them. That's you gotta why you need a poop knife. That's why you yeah, get a poop right. knife. You chop it up. Yeah, because it will chop the most compacted of brownies, the most seasoned of sausages, the hardwood of butt logs, the longest of sewer snakes, the most ferocious of bog crocodiles, and the fattest of heaved Havanas. Hey, you guys, come. you guys should hit up Los at Emergency Exit Podcast because he does leather work and stuff. He could make you guys holsters for your poop knife. Wow. Yeah. That's, the, that's the most brilliant idea I've heard tonight. Poop That's nice the worst holster. thing you've ever said, Dwayne. Hey, Look, we got a fancy beard in here. He's in the house, and he winked at. I think he winked at you. He winked at you. Yeah, he winked at you. Let's. Uh, we can wink back at him. Wink back. I can't. Can you wink you with both? Hold one eye like a pirate and close them both. I can only wink with one eye. Really? Yeah, and it's not like a sexy wink. No, that was awkward. It's super awkward. I thought everybody could close one eye. You can't. It's but see oh, what Dan C bearded he did you get was it thirty thousand yeah. subscribers he, he, on uh YouTube? Where you wait congratulations, Dan. Just at 30 you, a little bit ago. No, is he's that, like is that yeah. my producer I see commenting in there? Kyle. Kyle. Look he at you wash it. Hi. It's dishwasher safe. It is dishwasher safe. Yep. You actually want to put your poop knife in your dishwasher and then yeah. have it like. I mean, would you oh, rather. Here's a poop knife holders. 
Toy <laughs> Posters. Who is this? Oh, hi, Angela. Angela. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Yeah, poof, nice wait a minute. Poster. Wait a minute. Time out. Natalie. Can Natalie come over here and read it as in her Angela voice? No. She said, Dwayne, why? Poop knife holders, LOL. <laughs> Something like that. We're, oh, there we go. We need, up. Up. Yeah, we need to send. We need. We need to definitely send one of these to Dan. <laughs> Dan's Clock. bearded. I got you. Send me. Uh, send me your address. I'll send you a poop knife. Might need a couple. And now you're oh. getting crazy. I mean, they're so good. You don't need a couple. You only need one. Yeah, they're yeah. one. One and done. Even though Scott likes to, he prefers to hand wash his poop knife. Uh, yeah, I'm a, I'd throw it right in the dishwasher. I mean, you just stick it in your mouth, pull it right out. You're good. Clean. Clean. Could. You could pee on it. Like peanut butter. Yeah, it's the same thing. You could thing. pee it off. You could pee it off. And then the pee. Yeah, no, this is, a, it's a real company. Originalpoopknife.com. Be a samurai of the porcelain poo poo platter. So apparently we got we we you guys need to involve Dan on the uh F it Friday and for talking poop. Yeah, Dan, if you want to be a part of that? I mean, if you say it when it's live show and we feature the comment, then then we're gonna hold you to it. Yeah. <laughs> it, it it's an F it Friday called Talking Poops. We're we're gonna start doing episodes more frequently now that winter's here because I've been kind of camping in the middle of nowhere with no service. And um Yes, and that's why we couldn't do the family feud thing. So it was all on me, guys. So it's all your fault. <clears throat> You're welcome. It sounds like a great idea for a, like a maybe bi weekly. Yeah, yeah every so two weeks would make sense. That's yeah. what we initially talked about. And then, you know, camping. And then I went on night shift and it just kind of messed up the whole thing. So. Yeah, we're um, I'm I'm definitely in. I have some pretty cool guests lined up that all uh, that they, they want to talk about poop for an hour. That's Not right. Even We've done two episodes of talk of poop. They were both extremely successful. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and it ended up in a large shipment of poop knives. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And the owner of poop knife is uh, if we give them, they said a seven day heads up, then they're gonna come on the show too. That's amazing. You we're guys blowing up, man. Oh yeah, blowing uh, poop. If only one day we could get to your level, I, I'll, I'll be. Oh, amazing. you you guys were towing you. We want to. We want you guys are going to be our other wing. Yeah, we're you're going to be. Our we can do help you guys. Are we flying? Boy, are my yeah. tired. You're the you're the wind beneath our wings is what you are. Oh, yeah. I see what you did there. Well played. Well played, well, guys. I'm gonna head out. I'm tired. Yep, me too. Thanks for thankful. thanks for having me on. I appreciate yeah, absolutely. it. Absolutely. It's been long overdue, as the kids say. And we'll have to uh we'll have I'll, Scott, I'll have my people will reach out to your people. We'll see if I get you on for uh, maybe a little drum solo or something. I mean, yeah. We'll see what we can do. I, I can okay. bang on Aaron. You yeah, go. you can. <laughs> you bang in Aaron on air would be pretty awesome. Pretty I think it would blow our ratings through the roof. You said. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Dwayne, for stopping by. Take, Check take it out, easy, guys. Uh, Check out, out. Uh, The Least You Can Do Saturdays, 8 p.m. on the YouTubes, the Facebooks, and the Twitches. Thank you, sir. Okay, bye. All right. He's well, he left. He's gone. He's like, I ain't got time for this. That's right. Well, I'm. I'm pretty much done at this point as well. Yeah, um, you guys have almost done five hours. Yeah, I'm done. So, uh, yeah, you can check us out. I'm Aaron D. Johnston, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. I forgot that was even up there. So, yeah, everybody. What he said. Mm -hmm. All of it. I'm pooped. Go ahead, Scott. Yeah. Joe Myers says, I, my dudes, he's a pirate. Uh, Scott's Cora, Facebook, Instagram, and uh, check us out at talkingbeers.com. Thank you, everyone who donated tonight. Um, is there a new total? I haven't been keeping up with it. All there right. is, but you got to tune in when? Yeah, Tuesday, eight o'clock. Uh, Talking Beards, Facebook, YouTube, uh, Twitch, and we'll have Maddie on the episode, and we will uh, give the grand total 
of uh, Beards for Maddie from yesterday. Now, uh, yeah, we did. That's freaking midnight. I'm done. He's done. Pocky He's done. Dip, I ate it. My stomach hurts. Yeah, good luck with that tomorrow. And uh, I'm Matt Beardlaws. You guys can catch me on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Periscope, whatever that is, the Twitch and all that stuff. And uh, I just want to say amazing job by you guys. You guys absolutely killed it. As always, uh, you know, it seems like everything you guys do, you guys do it the right way and you guys do amazing. So we try. Well, we, we are glad to have you here with us. We love you, Matt. You, you do such a great job, too. And yeah, uh, hopefully I'll see you guys in two weeks live in person. Live, live baby. Be awesome. That's all it. right. Everybody, have a great night. I ate this stupid chip tonight, and my stomach hurts. I'm out. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Bye. We hope you enjoyed this week's episode of the Talking Beards podcast. You can find out more information by going to talkingbeards.com. There you can subscribe to the podcast, make a donation to our show, or pick up some really cool Talking Beards merchandise. We hope to see you in the chat room. You can find us over at facebook.com slash talking beards if you want to participate in our chat. Thank you again for checking the show out, and we hope you have a great week. Make sure you come back next week at 8 p.m. on Tuesday evening to watch the show live. Until next time, thanks. Thanks.